Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and another video. So this weekend is actually my birthday weekend. Whoop whoop, 27. <laughs> Can't say I'm excited. I don't like turning another year older. I'm sure a lot of people don't. But yeah, it's just a very chilled one this year. We were gonna go camping for my birthday down to Byron Bay but decided against it because the heat at the moment, that's why my hair looks so frizzy, um, is crazy. Like the humidity is 84%. It, there's a heat wave, a warning for Queensland. And yeah, it, it's pretty hot. Um, so yeah, we decided to put off the camping maybe until Valentine's weekend. Hopefully it cools down a bit then. And I think that will still be a nice time to go. So yeah, I'm just having a very chilled birthday. Today, I'm gonna celebrate it with the family. We're having an indoor picnic, because like I said, you can't be outside unless you're in a body of water. So um, yeah, a nice little indoor vegan picnic. My mum's planned it all. And then tomorrow, Joe's working in the morning, unfortunately, but we will go for a nice Indian meal down the road in the evening. And I'm sure I'll get up to a few other bits. So yeah, my birthday's tomorrow, Saturday. It's the third today. I don't know if I mentioned that. I haven't filmed a weekly vlog for I think one or two weeks. I'm not sure. So I thought I would do this instead, my little birthday weekend. And yeah, I'm starving. So let's go see what's on offer for lunch. I'm excited. Right here is the vegan picnic that mum's prepared. Let me show you what we've got. Okay, so it's my birthday, it's the next day now. You would have seen that we had the little picnic. I didn't film much because just wanted to enjoy it. And then this morning I went to Sunrise Yoga, my first ever yoga class, and it was really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. It was boiling hot, felt a bit like hot yoga. <laughs> I've never done that either, so I don't really know what that feels like, but if I was to guess, I'm guessing that's what it would feel like. And then I've just been chilling and waiting for Joe to finish. And we are actually on our way for me to pick up a hamper that I won yesterday. Who would have thought it? Oh, are you getting aggressive? She's up on the green light. Um, yeah, we're on our way to pick up a hamper that I won yesterday for completing Veganuary. Um, I was like entering this competition quite often on Instagram where you tag this company. Um, whenever you make a vegan dish, and obviously I was making absolutely loads, so just tag in the minute, and I won the hamper. So it's a $200 sustainable living hamper. I'm buzzing, like it's like an extra uh, birthday gift. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. And that's what we're doing now on our way to get that. So yeah, really nice little surprise. And then me and Joe are going to go to Office Works to pick out my birthday present from here. Exciting. Um, and then we're gonna go for our lovely Indian meal. Well, fingers crossed it's lovely. I don't know, because I haven't eaten it yet. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice? Yeah, I'm sure it will be really nice. But yeah, that has been the day so far. Let me know in the comments if you're a fellow Aquarius. We're the best. We're the most limited edition, did you know that? Aquarius. Limited edition? because February is the shortest month. Oh, right. So there's less of us. Oh, okay. So that makes sense, yeah. it does make sense, doesn't it? A rare card. A rare sign, a rare star sign. A rare star sign. Just a rare being in general. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had a lovely birthday. I've got some lovely gifts. I opened jar Jar's card. <laughs> I opened Joe's card earlier and it was really lovely. And yeah, buzzing for my Indian. Obviously, I'm going to get vegan 
because I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be straight up with everyone. I did try some feta and I did have a cheesy pizza. Mm. It's my birthday weekend. It's my birthday. But I felt rotten. Rotten. I don't know whether it was my brain telling me that I shouldn't be eating cheese yeah. or what, but my stomach was really dodgy. I needn't stay anymore. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna stick to vegan from now on because I think that's what suits me best and I really am loving it. So I'm loving it. I'm yeah, loving I'm gonna it. get a vegan curry tonight. I'll show you what's on the menu. Let's go pick up my hamper. <laughs> you got anything to say? Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to Where see you. Where you been? Where you been? <laughs> Thank you so much, Nurture Kwana. Look at all this stuff. I'm gonna do a massive haul tomorrow and show you everything that I got. And that will be the first time I'll go for it as well. So it's a surprise for both of us. And when I said it was my birthday, they gave me a free lip balm as well. So lovely, it's so, so lovely in there. Bunch of leggings. Really, really made my day even more special. We're just walking to the Indian now. I've got my birthday badge on because why not? I've got Joe with me, of course. Are you gonna say hello and slow down? Hey, hey, what's going on? Okay, funny story. We didn't end up going to the Indian. We've ended up in our local RSL. So I'm spending my 27th birthday in an RSL. We just did the last stand. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, this is, is where we're at. Cool. I've got my. Sorry, can I have this? I've got my alcoholic ginger beer, and we're living our best lives. Joe's blowing his nose. Oh, you could have got that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, babe. Wherever I'm with you, I'm happy. Oh, that's oh. Nice. Yeah. That's, so yeah. That's true. That's why. I still ended up getting a vegan meal. Yeah. I will show you when it comes. so it is a few days later now my birthday was on saturday and it's now tuesday so yeah a good few days later um i think the last thing you would have seen was me trying my birthday cake which was absolutely delicious it was completely vegan i don't know if i mentioned that but yeah joe got it from the cheesecake shop um i would recommend that even if you're not vegan that was one of the nicest birthday cakes i've ever tried there's actually still some in the fridge that i'm constantly nibbling at but yeah it was 10 out of 10. i did say i was gonna go through everything that i won in the competition so to my right here i have a box full of goodies it was a 200 dollars sustainable living hamper i did have a little look i'm not gonna lie but we can go through everything together now i'm gonna pop this on the floor just so i can easily get stuff out but it is so heavy okay let's start with the stuff on the top now this is from a company called who gives a crap and it's obviously toilet paper i think this actually started during 2020 when no one could get toilet paper. I might be wrong, but I think that's when I started to see it um, get really popular. So I've got an emergency roll, which I'm gonna tuck away far away from Joe. So <laughs> this is just for me. And then I've got a normal one. I'll be excited to give it a go, actually. I mean, kind of excited, it's toilet paper, but yeah, I'm still excited to give it a go. Then next, we've got these really cool coconut bowls. So I've got four of these. I don't know if I'd actually use them for food. I don't know if you're meant to. Um, let me know in the comments if you know, but I sort of like them for like decorative pieces. I don't know, but they are cool. They are really cool. So yeah, I've got four of those. This has to be one of the best items in the box. 
So it's a lovely big beach towel. It apparently stops all the sand sticking to it. So that is really cool. Let me just show you. So it's made out of this material. It's not like normal towel fabric. And yeah, apparently it stops all sand sticking to it, but it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to try that. I need to get down the beach more often. I really do. Next up is this massive nurture bag. So that's the company that I won the competition off. And yeah, it's pretty huge. Then we have an essential box of tissues. Is this from the same company? Yeah, who gives a crap? A walnut scrubber sponge. So this is all like really eco-friendly, good for the planet stuff which I'm really getting into at the moment. Obviously everyone should be into it. Next up, we got some bamboo biodegradable toothbrushes, a two pack. Nearly all of these products are made locally. So this one is a family owned business on the Sunshine Coast where I live. So that's so cool. So this is probably my next favorite item to the towel. It's glass drinking straws, one white one and one green one. Are you gonna cry to get out the whole time now? You wanted to come in here? I have to let her out in a minute. But anyway, I had a glass straw from my brother for a Christmas present and he sent it over from Australia. And then I bring it back to Australia when we moved here and my mum accidentally smashed it. So yeah, I haven't had one for ages and I really, really loved it. It just feels so much different to the metal ones or plastic ones. So I'm glad I've got a couple of them restocked. Next is this reusable bamboo towels. So it's a bit like kitchen roll, but you can reuse them 85 times apparently, like each individual towel. So that is so cool. And you can also use it for removing makeup, drying hands and cleaning electrical devices. So that's pretty cool. So this is the Everyday Coconut Body Lotion. And of course it's got no nasties, it's vegan. No mineral oil, no synthetic dyes, no parabens. This is what my body needs. Thank you. Thank you, Nurture. Then a really great essential that we've actually run out of is washing up liquid, dishwashing liquid, Kin Kin Eco Naturals. And I think this is made in Chimbiwa. Is that right? Yeah, so another local product, Queensland family made, and it does smell rather good. Nice to know you're washing your dishes with something that's completely natural and skin friendly, toxic free, septic safe, biodegradable, low sodium. Perfect. This one I am gonna give to my mum because when I was having a little look, I sprayed this and it irritated my senses. I don't know why. I think I do have some sort of allergy to rose water because every time I smell it, I'm like, no, get me away. So I will give this one to my mum, but it's just an air freshener. I have two bamboo reusable towels. So quite similar to the other one, I think. Maybe exactly the same. But yeah, always good to have more. I will never need to buy a jerry cloth or a tea towel or kitchen roll again. Next up, we have a shampoo bar. I've never tried a shampoo bar. I've always wanted to. And um, I think it would be good for Joe as well. So it's shampoo and conditioner bar with seaweed, rosemary, sage, and ginseng for va va boom. Volume, I mean, I'm not sure my hair needs volume. <laughs> Does yours? Um, yeah, but maybe Joe will like it. Maybe I'll love it. I'll let you know. Then we have a bento box, BPA free, collapsible bento box. Let me tell you how many Joe has of these. And every time they go out, brand new, they come back absolutely wrecked after one day. He's a mechanic and I don't even know what to say about it. If you know, you know, everything comes back covered in oil, so I can't use it. So this is gonna be mine. This is solely, solely mine. No sharing is caring with this one. Then last but not least is this kitchen compost waste bin. How cute is that? I don't want to put scraps of food in there, um, but of course I will, but probably not in this apartment that we have now because I don't know where I would put the waste. Collect your kitchen scraps in a naturally stylish bin. And then what do you do with them? What do you do with them? Like, do you need a big compost heap in the back of your garden? I don't know, I don't have a garden. I have a balcony and I just don't know how well. What are you doing? Do not eat that. 
don't know how well um, this would go down just thinking out on the balcony. But I will be keeping this until I have the perfect house to use it in. It is absolutely gorgeous and obviously it's really good to compost your scraps. So yeah, that is the final item. I can't believe that I won this, especially on my birthday. And I just want to give a massive thanks to Nurture. And um, when I went to Nurture Corner, I don't know if I mentioned this, they gave me a free lip balm. She was like, just pick whatever you want. I was like, oh my God, I'm just like pressure. <laughs> so I just picked a little lip balm. Um, I'm not sure where it is now, but yeah, I was really, really happy and chuffed with all this stuff. But thank you so, so much for watching my birthday vlog. And I will be back very soon with another video. Bye.